In Maine, protection from abuse cases are also known as restraining order cases, but they uh, apply to uh, and people that get them are family and household members. Now the protection from abuse uh, actions in Maine are statutory, which means there's a legislated process to obtain a protection from abuse order or a restraining order. Um, a person who is claiming that they've been abused by a family or household member. Uh, it's a, quite a, an informal process at first. They can go to the clerk's office. The clerk's office will assist them in this rare, rare instance. They usually don't assist. Uh, they can't assist, but in this one instance they've been legislatively permitted to assist. Uh, a person claiming to have been abused uh, files a complaint and uh, which has a lot of biographical information, information that uh, determines whether they comply uh, uh, or whether they are family or household members to the person accused of committing the abuse. Um, it talks about uh, children of the parties or other children living in the household. Uh, and then there, there is a a place for a brief narrative as to the abuse that occurred and then there are some um, requests for relief uh, which often include uh, no possession or uh, no contact direct or indirect with the plaintiff the person bringing the action um, often the children are included in the households in that prohibition um, often there's a prohibition against firearms and the person has to turn them over to uh, someone else who certifies that they have them or deliver them to a police department. 